What is going on? This is Black Apino, the Apple Guy, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to reset your Windows device. Um, this will work for any device that you're running, laptop or desktop, that is running uh, Windows 10. <coughs> um, as you can see, I'm running a Surface, Pro, a Surface Go, so it's running Windows 10 S, which is basically a tablet version of the Windows 10 for the Surface Go and uh, we're just going to kind of jump right into it uh, what you're going to first do, thing you're going to do is generally when you have issues with your PC normally just shutting it off restarting it usually can fix some of the bugs but there will be times when you may need to actually reset your computer kind of back to its default settings but still keep all your personal files. So basically it removes everything that you had previously to you installing any of your um, previous files. So you don't have to worry about your documents or anything else being erased. That's only if you do a full reset or a system restore. That's generally what's gonna happen there, but we're just doing a reset of the PC itself. And I'm just gonna kind of show you the steps into what you have to do. <coughs> so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna tap your windows whether it's uh, uh, a touch screen or using your keyboard. I'm just going to be using my Surface Pen. So we're going to tap on the Windows. You're going to scroll down to your Settings button, as you can see here. You're going to tap on that. And then it's going to bring you to another sub menu and I usually find that the easiest way to do this is to just basically type in recovery although you can go into update and security and do it sometimes you may forget to so it's just best to type in recovery and as you can see it will give you an option recovery options reset PC basically you just hit recovery options and then as you can see it brings you to another sub menu and basically this kind of explains to you exactly what you be doing with the resetting of the PC as you can see if your PC is running or not running well resetting it might help this lets you choose to keep your personal files and remove them and then reinstalls Windows <coughs> so basically all it'll do is it'll kind of if there's like a file or a program that's been kind of bugging it you can basically just reset your computer still keep your personal files and use it as if it was brand new so basically you just hit get started and then what happens is as you can see choose an option keep my files remove everything tap on the keep my files and also this won't take long and then it just kind of basically goes in to the um, function of resetting the computer and uh, depending on what kind of computer you have if you have like a regular hard drive computer, it should take no more than um, <coughs> about an hour or so at best to reset the computer, a little over an hour, as opposed to if you have something with like a solid state laptop, it'll usually take you about 40 or 50 minutes to do that. So just be reminded that it will take some time if you want to reset your PC as opposed to bringing it to the Geek Squad or whoever, or to a friend and having them do it, it will take you a good hour or two hours just to reset your PC if it's a non-solid state, as opposed to a laptop with a solid state, 40 or 50 minutes to reset it. But this is the best way to do it without having to bring it in and having somebody basically, you know, pay, pay them a crazy amount of money just to basically do something such as resetting your PC or setting it out and then them doing it and 